Hello, physicist Newland here. Let's do the cross product problem from our homework. So we've got vector m, which for me is equal to uh, 4 i hat plus 4 j hat. And that's an m, by the way. OK, it doesn't look like an m, but it will. m. And the n vector is a 2i minus 2j hat. So hang on, verify. Um, that's a i b j, so that's 4, 4, and that's c i b j, so that's 2, negative 2. OK, so a uh, couple of reminders. i crossed with i is 0. j crossed with j is 0. You can't have any component of a vector cross with itself being uh, anything other than zero. So if you cross two unit vectors, you're going to get a zero. So um, that being said, the first thing they ask is, what is the magnitude of m cross m? So m cross m. Well, that one's going to have to be zero. So we've got this vector that's 4, 4. And they're asking if I were to multiply it by itself, 4, 4. What component of this vector is perpendicular to that? None of it. So the answer is definitely 0. So that's not a thing. You can't get a cross product if you're, the vector is being crossed with itself. Okay, So that's almost a, a trick question. So then they want to know what is the magnitude of the vector product and then what direction. There isn't really an easier way to do what I'm about to do other than using matrices, which you definitely can do. Uh, but I'm going to use, well, the FOIL method. M, oh, that's, again, my M is not, not suitable. So let's find M cross N. Okay, so I'm going to give myself lots of room. And I'm going to write them down. 4I plus 4J crossed with, and order matters. M has to go first. M must go first. Okay. Oh, let me write down a couple of other uh, helpful unit vectors. I cross with J is plus K. That's when you've got I hat and J hat, K is out of the paper, minus K is into the paper like that. So if I did J crossed with I, I'll get negative K. So that's into the paper. I cross J is out of the page. J cross I is into the page. So this one is J cross I hat, and this one is I hat cross J hat. So careful about those. All right, so then we wrote down M. Let's write down N, 2 I hat minus 2 J hat, OK? And uh, that equals the cross product of the two. So here we go. We're going to use FOIL, first, outside, inside, last. So first, first, this guy times this guy. So that's 4 I hat crossed with 2 I hat, like that. Then outside, so that would be this guy and this guy. So plus 4 i hat, oops, 4 i hat crossed with negative 2 j hat. OK, that's outside. Plus inside, which would be um, this guy and this guy. So that's, uh, and I'm putting them all in parentheses to try and keep them straight. 4 j hat crossed with 2 i hat. And then uh, last which would be this guy here and this guy here. So plus 4j hat crossed with negative 2j hat, like that. So don't forget, first, out, first plus outside plus inside plus last when you're multiplying two quantities like this. But they're cross products, so we have to be careful of that. Now, there are a couple of throwaway answers. There's an i hat crossed with an i hat. That's 0. There's a j hat crossed with a j hat. That's also 0. So we can simplify this a little. m cross n, then, is equal to this first one, 2 i hat. Wait, hang on. Reading that from the wrong spot. My bad. So we got we to gotta keep this one. So that's 4 i hat, sorry, all crossed with negative 2 j hat. And then we want to add in the other one, 4 j hat 
crossed with to i hat and let's use some algebraic friendliness because there's so many things being multiplied here i feel like we can make this a little bit clearer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to group the numbers the coefficients and i'm going to group the unit vectors since everything's being multiplied i'm totally allowed to do that but i can't change the order of my unit vectors so what we need to do is say it's four times negative two times I cross with J. So I took the negative two and I included it right there. Okay. And then plus, and I'm going to, again, group the uh, coefficients four times two, and I'm going to group the unit vectors. And I'm only allowed to do this because they're all being multiplied and I can re um, order which things are being multiplied, but the cross product order does matter. So do not move around the I's and the J's or you're likely to get a wrong answer, okay? So up here that gives us negative eight and then I cross J, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. I cross J is K, that's out of the page. So that's negative eight, but then there's a K hat, okay? And then plus, this is uh, eight again, but J cross with I is into the page. That's negative K. So this is negative k hat. So what does that make the answer? That makes the answer negative 16 k hat. So one of the questions was what was the magnitude and one of the questions was what was the direction. So if I scroll up, what is the magnitude of the vector product? The length of this vector that I've written, reminder, a cross product is always a vector. The length of the cross product is just 16. You don't need the negative. It's just the magnitude. And then the direction would be negative k hat, but I don't think that's one of the answer choices for this question. So be careful, Fig see if you can figure out what it would be if the uh, magnitude is 16 and the direction is negative k hat, which one of those would be the kind of the giveaway. So I do recognize this was tedious, but it was a really good way to practice doing the cross product and to remind you how these unit vectors worked. Okay, good luck.